What's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi. I am back again. Once again. How y'all doing today? I tried to uh, dress for the occasion, <laughs> and it is brought to my attention as of this morning. Well, last night, technically, that Nintendo was planning on revealing. Details about the Nintendo NX. Nothing was really spoiled for me, which is great because I've been holding off all day. I had to wait until I got off work just to do this. And here we are. It's a special event. It's a special occasion. So that's why we are here and now. And we are about to react to the first look at the Nintendo Switch. Oh, wait, wait. You think I forgot about my reaction, no jutsu? <laughs> Yike. It's... Yeah. All right, now let me make some quick predictions real quick. Well, kind of predictions and what I'm looking for specifically smash switch pokken switch pokemon switch hell bring back the naruto gnt series switch about to switch it up nintendo let's go let's go yo i'm trying i'm trying to peep that controller okay we got zelda yo peep the soundtrack wow that looks cool <laughs> what this man just took his John? Okay. Uh, but how's the frame rate though? Boy. Okay. Oh, you trying to. Okay. We, we meeting girls with the Switch? Is that what. Oh, we got a kickstand. Ain't you cool? What? So you could. Oh, what are we bringing back? The Wemo Nunchuck type of feel? Bro, I know that's Skyrim. I like it. That's that's sick. Switch. I like that. Oh, we got Mario Kart confirmed. All right. Yo, why that? Do I thought that dude was Stephen Amell from Arrow for a second. I like that. Oh, we got. What are we bringing back? NBA Street. What's up? What is that? 2K. I don't even know. Yeah, but I don't, I don't like this Wemo sideways, John. I don't like that. Mario, of course. I mean, this system looks sick. It looks dope as hell. Like, the idea behind it is dope. Oh, Splatoon! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Is Splatoon that real? I didn't know that, that it was. I like those controllers. They look pretty nice. Come on now. They're, they're treating like Splatoon's the only eSport out here. We're Smash. It's coming that soon? Bro. Alright. So, let's talk about this. So, essentially, we got a couple games confirmed straight from this trailer. We have Mario, we have a Zelda title, we have Skyrim, we have Mario Kart, we have an NBA type of game. I don't know if it's 2K or if it's live or if it's a new NBA game altogether for just Nintendo NX or I should say Switch now. Oh, it's Splatoon. How can I get for Splatoon? That was the, the very last thing. The idea behind this console is actually really freaking cool. The way, the fact that you can take your system from playing at home and then just easily transport it to wherever you're trying to go. It's like the tablet size. It's kind of perfect. And then it, the controller is literally just... You, you just take that John off and you're good. Now, when it comes to playability, that's my biggest concern right now. The frame rate. How smooth is it actually going to be when it's in mobile mode? Okay, because I'm sure it's going to perform at its best when it's at the house. Alright, because that's just how it works. I don't want to hold my breath for this switch i'm not gonna start i'm not gonna talk crap about it now i'm not trying to put it down now but i'm just trying to be a little bit open-minded here and what i'm trying to say is i just want to see this thing work in real time because this is the first attempt at having a mobile home console hybrid system this is the first of its kind we never had something like this before 
So you have to imagine being that it is the first of its kind, there's bound to be a bunch of issues and whatnot, especially depending on the kind of games that they're gonna put out for this thing. And this thing is gonna have to be super powerful. And to be honest, my biggest concern is when you're on the go. They only reveal certain titles that will kind of fit the whole landscape of the game. I noticed that the two ends of the controller, it's for one person, but for certain games, you can actually say, here you go, and that's player two. So it's like you're using a really small version of a Wemo, and that can actually be extremely uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, like, my hands are pretty freaking big. I'm sure there's people that got bigger hands than me and are gonna have issues with this right off the bat. And not to mention, throw in Splatoon, I don't even know how that game, that game is going to be comfortable. I've been waiting for a controller type that looks like that pro controller that they were showing off. That looks like it's more comfortable and if it feels right, I might just make my return to Splatoon because your boy was repping that roller squad all day, every day. We are back again. When it came to the things I was looking for, mainly because we all know that being that this is the next nintendo system you're gonna have to expect your staple games and now when i brought up smash and pokemon specifically i want to see how those games will work i feel like for pokemon there should really be no problem because you don't have to worry about too much comfortability when it comes to playing i mean for crying out loud if you're like me who's been playing this game since day one and i'm not talking about diamond and pearl dds days nah i'm talking about you had to get the freaking light in the game boy pocket for playing red and blue and yellow because you could see nothing when you was playing at night or even during the day when it comes to that it's like you know we were used to this two button d-pad type of game and it looks like it will be the perfect fit for the switch now when it comes to games like smash we all know it's a safe bet we all know that with a new nintendo system it's bound to be a new smash I hate to say it and for those that might disagree well i'm sorry for you because put it this way we get always get a new zelda always get a new mario always get a new mario kart hello smash literally makes them bank makes it that bread with the butter it's bound to happen so when it does happen i'm really 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 looking forward to seeing how they handle that situation because they made an adapter for wii u for us gamecube controller players and let's be real now that's probably like 90 percent of the smashers out there what you gonna do nintendo for real though I hope they implement that in some way, shape, or form. Now, if I absolutely had to, would I switch over to the Pro Controller to play Smash on the go for the Smash Switch? Yes. If I had to, I had to. But it would be really nice, and I'm sure it would literally make them tons more money if they made another adapter or something, because, let, come on. You put Smash or Pokemon in the label, it's gonna sell. And another thing, this is a random thought. I wonder how and if they are going to implement amiibos with the Switch. Those are literally all of my concerns and thoughts about the Switch. I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I think the idea of this whole console is awesome. I think it's great, it looks really cool, but the things that I'm looking for, mainly, specifically, performance, stability comfortability those are three big ones right there and then of course the games smash pokemon pokin that'd be cool po mobile pokin needs to happen it needs to happen i'm just i'm just i'm just putting it out there and takara tomi please give us another naruto gnt please thank you let me know what you guys think in the comments below like share subscribe hit me up on twitter and i'll see y'all next time